Hello and welcome back to this channel. <coughs> Dear students, today's video is for series resonance, rather series RLC circuit. This is for the subject basic electrical engineering for first year engineering students. Dear students, I have already created few videos related to this unit as well as I have created some videos on superposition theorem, Thevenin's theorem and KVL. I will provide the links in the description box. Do watch those videos. So without wasting the time, let us start the topic. The first expected question is draw and explain phasor diagram for series RLC circuit when XL is greater than XC, XL is less than XC and third condition is XL is equal to XC. This diagram is known as series RLC circuit. Very simple. R is resistor, L is inductor, C is capacitor. All the three components are connected one after other. That means they are in series. So it is series RLC circuit. Now, the voltage drop across resistance is VR. That is across inductor is VL and voltage drop across capacitor is VC. VR, VL and VC are the voltage drops across R, L and C which are having different values whereas current flowing through this circuit is remaining same that is I. So for drawing a phasor diagram I will have to take current axis as a reference. So I will mark this as a horizontal axis which I am taking it as a reference. Now what is this X? We know that in normal cases R stands for resistance. If it is a resistor, R is the rotation used to give indication of opposition to the flow of current that is known as resistance. Similarly, if you have inductor and capacitor, its resistance or its opposition is denoted by X. So opposition provided by inductor is XL. It is known as reactance of inductance and opposition provided by capacitor is XC which is known as reactance of capacitance. Now the total impedance, impedance is what? It is combination of resistor and reactance. That means opposition provided by all the three components is known as impedance Z and in this case it is given by R plus J in the bracket XL minus XC. Now coming back to this question, we have to draw the phasor diagram related to these three conditions. As I mentioned earlier, XL is reactance of inductance, XC is reactance of capacitance. So since current flowing through this circuit is same through all the components, I have marked horizontal line and written I which is taken as a reference. Now do remember one basic concept. Voltage across inductor is always leading the current by 90 degree. Since it is leading, I will draw it in the upward direction like this. This vector I will denote it by VL and this angle is 90 degree. So, do remember this concept, VL is leading current by 90 degree. On the contrary, voltage across capacitance, that is VC, is lagging the current by 90 degree. So this angle is again 90 degree, but it is lagging. So I have drawn this VC, that is voltage across capacitor in a downward direction. So VC lags current by 90 degree, whereas VL leads current by 90 degree. Now first condition. XL is greater than XC, which is same as VL is greater than VC. Do remember this. X is reactance, V is voltage, which are directly proportional. So when we say XL is greater than XC, it means that VL is greater than VC. So VL is larger than VC. So if I have to take this as a reference diagram, since VL is larger than VC, how can I draw the diagram? Again, I will mark horizontal line. This is current axis. Now, since VL is larger than VC, the resultant will be VL minus VC. So this line will be along VL side, along this axis because VL will be, VL is larger. So this line, I will draw it as VL minus VC. Now, this is the current axis. One more thing. The voltage across resistor is always and always along the current axis. So on the same axis, I will mark this value as VR. That is voltage across the resistance. So along this same line, I have VR, voltage drop across resistor. This line represents difference between VL and VC. That is VL minus VC. Why I have drawn it on the upper side? Because VL is larger than VC. 
Now the resultant of this can be drawn like this. I will complete the rectangle and I will use another color. Say this line represents resultant of this. That is VR and VL minus VC. This voltage is V. Since this line, this length is VL minus VC, this length will be again VL minus VC. So this is the phasor diagram for first condition that is XL minus XC. How to write the explanation? As I mentioned earlier, VL is leading, VC is lacking by 90 degree. Since VL is greater than VC, difference will be along the line VL. So I have drawn this diagram. Now if it is asked to draw the voltage triangle, make the thing simple. Just take out the voltage triangle from this. So resultant diagram will be like this. This line will be VL minus VC. This line will be V and this is VR. This is the voltage triangle. So from the same diagram, I have generated voltage triangle. If impedance triangle is asked, again make the thing simple. In place of V, you will have to write impedance Z. So everywhere in place of uh, VR, I will be writing ZR and this uh, uh, line also uh, replaced by the impedance. So the diagram remains same, only names will be different. This is the first condition that is XL is greater than XC. Now second condition, XL is less than XC. In another language, we can say this condition is XC is greater than XL. That means VC. XC is what reactance of capacitance, XL is reactance of inductor. So from this I can write VC voltage across capacitor is greater than VL. Now in the first case what we did it was VL minus VC because VL was larger. In this case VC is larger than VL so it will be VC minus VL and the diagram will be again I will take this as current axis so I reference axis along which I will mark VR voltage across resistor. In all cases I and VR will be along the same line. Now since VL is less than VC or VC is greater than VL resultant will be in the downward direction along the VC because VC is larger. So this line represents VC minus VL. If you complete this rectangle like this then the resultant can be drawn. See this line is v, VC minus VL. This is VC minus VL. So same line, this will be VC minus VL. Now, if I want to draw the resultant, resultant will be like this. This is voltage V. So this is the phasor diagram. If you want to draw the voltage triangle, voltage triangle will be like this. It is VR. Then this is V. And this line will be VC minus VL. This is the diagram for second condition. In the first condition, in this diagram, VL was larger. So circuit is said to be inductive. This, do remember this one. Very simple. Since VL is larger, circuit is said to be inductive. In the second case, VC is larger. So circuit is said to be capacitive. Because VC is larger than VL. Now, the third condition. XL is equal to XC. When XL and XC are same, so this diagram, in this diagram, VL and VC will be same and VR will be along I axis. So this is the phasor diagram under the condition XL is equals to XC, which we have already discussed since VL and VC are same. These two gates cancelled and final diagram will be because if you perform VL minus VC, or VC minus VL, you will get answer 0 because we are considering VL is equal to VC because given condition is XL is equal to XC, that means VL is equal to VC. So this will get cancelled and resultant diagram will be simple. This is current axis and this along same line I will draw VR. This is the phasor diagram for the third condition. So this was the answer of the question draw and explain phasor diagram for series RLC circuit. Now we will derive one expression important uh, derivation for series resonance circuit. Next part is derivation of resonance frequency for the series resonance circuit. I am referring the same diagram I already explained this diagram. VR, VL, VC are voltage drop XOR, R, L and C. I is the current flowing through the circuit. Question is, there are expression for resonance frequency of series resonance circuit, which is expected for the four marks. Now, 
the you need to remember one condition that is known as condition of resonance what is a resonance resonance is the condition at which you are getting the maximum output so condition of resonance that is the condition at which you will get a maximum output from the circuit is xl is equals to xc xl is reactance of inductor x is reactance of capacitor so i am using this equation xl is equals to xc this is known as condition of resonance now as as xl is reactance of inductance its formula you need to remember these two formula simple formula xl is 2 pi fl 2 pi is constant f is frequency l is value of inductance and xc reactance of capacitance is 1 by 2 pi fc c is the value of capacitance so just put the values so i will get 2 pi fl is equals to 1 by 2 pi fc now i am using the condition of resonance so at resonance i will write it here at resonance resonance is what the condition at which maximum output is obtained and that condition is xl is equals to xc so at resonance denote frequency by fr where this suffix r base r indicates resonance frequency f is frequency r is resonance so resonance frequency so every f instead of f i will write fr so i will get new equation like this in place of f i have written fr just to indicate it is the resonance frequency now make the thing simple i want to derive ex expression for fr so this fr i will transfer it at the lhs and this 2 pi l i will transfer it at the rhs so simply rearranging the equation i will get f r square this fr i am transferring at the lhs at lhs we have already one fr so it becomes f r square and this term 2 pi l i am transferring at the rhs so it is equals to this 1 by 2 pi c as it is which is already there present at the rhs and i am transferring 2 pi l so into 2 pi l so this becomes f r square is equals to 1 by 4 pi square l c or c l anything will do this is the equation of f r square now f r that is resonance frequency can be obtained by taking square root of this equation so it is 4 pi square l c which can be simply written as square root of 1 by 4 pi square into square root of 1 by l c so one square root of 1 by 4 pi square is 1 by 2 pi square root of 1 by lc therefore fr can be written as 1 by 2 pi root lc this is the derivation of resonance frequency for the series resonance circuit this is the simplest derivation you should not skip such questions from the exam point of view so this is the uh, derivation of resonance frequency for series resonance circuit or series rlc circuit now we will solve one numerical to get an idea of this concept consider the problem a coil of 15 milli henrys coil means inductor do remember this word coil means inductor so value of inductance is given as 15 milli henrys milli henrys means 15 into 10 raised to minus 3 henrys this is the value of l which is given in the question is connected in series with 25 ohm resistance so value of r is given which is 25 ohm and a capacitor value of capacitor is not given across 230 volt so voltage is 230 frequency is 50 hertz 230 volts 50 hertz find the value of capacitor so that circuit draws maximum current what will be the power factor and power consumed that means we have to calculate value of capacitance and so see value of capacitance you need to calculate and power factor you need to calculate as well as you need to calculate value of power consumed that is value of p now a big question how will you come to know in the exam that this question is related to series resonance this word is very important maximum current do remember maximum current flows only in case of resonance circuit and this value of maximum current which is flowing at resonance is given by normal equation v by r in this formula there will not be 
reactance of inductor and capacitor because current is maximum means it is flowing at the resonance so from this word i can judge this is the numerical related to series resonance all right now first step is we need to calculate value of uh, c since the condition of resonance is given in another words that is maximum current and we just now discuss that at resonance xl is equals to xc reactance of inductance is equals to reactance of capacitance we know the formula of xl just now i have told you it is 2 pi fn which is equals to formula of xc that is reactance of capacitance is 1 by 2 pi fc making use of this formula i need to calculate value of c so this capacitance c i will transfer it at lhs remaining i will write it over here so c is equals to this c i am transferring at the lhs remaining all terms i will transfer at the rhs so it becomes 1 by 2 pi f this 1 by 2 pi f i am keeping it as it is into 2 pi f l this is the formula to calculate uh, value of c which can be simply written as 1 by 2 pi f bracket square into l now simply put the values it is 1 by 2 pi into 50 bracket square into l value of l is given that is inductance 15 into 10 raised to minus 3 you just have to perform the calculations on the calculator so answer of c value of capacitance will be this answer will be 6.75 into 47 into 10 raised to minus 4 farad you can well convert it into microfarad but this answer is quite sufficient so it is 6.7547 into 10 raised to minus 4 farad this is the answer of first part now one more thing you need to remember power factor we have the uh, general formula of power factor power factor is given by cos phi if it is a resonance circuit you don't have to calculate the power factor directly you have to write the answer it is equals to 1 because maximum value of power factor is 1 since circuit is at resonance condition because maximum current is flowing value of power factor can be directly written that is equals to 1 now last part value of power consumed that is p the formula to calculate value of power consumed is vi cos phi vi cos phi now i have already told you i in this case under resonance is given by v by r so first let me calculate i v is 230 volt that is given in the question divided by r r resistance resistance is given as 25 uh, volt so if you calculate value of current that will be 9.2 ampere so put these values in this formula therefore p is equals to 230 30 into 9.2 into value of cos phi is 1 just now we discussed power factor is cos phi that is 1 so if you solve this equation if you calculate this value answer will be 2116 watts this is the answer of power consumed by the circuit so if any numerical is asked related to series resonance do remember the basic condition at resonance xl is equals to xc and one more formula in uh, other numericals you might require that is resonance frequency is 1 by 2 uh, 1 by 2 pi under root of lc in such numericals l and c will be given and it can be directly asked to calculate the resonance frequency so these are only possible variations as far as the numericals are on series resonance circuit are concerned so that's it for today's session dear students thank you thanks a lot